Yo, I've been seeing these things where people are just like, even with the the, the, the regular mask, they're like sequin, yeah. and then like it must match something in the accessories, or like you said, the nails or the outfits. New worlds. We live in a new world. All the things. Okay, so I can't see. I'm just gonna put it away. Hey, what's another word for Corona? Like it's Corona, Covivi, it's Cocorico. <laughs> <laughs> Only in South Africa you give anything a nickname. Mm. It has to. It's the only way to survive. Um, the room. Am I allowed to drink? <laughs> Oh, please go in, girl. Please, because I mean, oh, yeah, because oh, I, mm, mm, we are just, we are just losing me. Oh, wait, it's gone. Okay, it's gone. tell us where you are, what time it is over there, and are you guys under lockdown? So, I am in Erfurt, Germany, right in the center. Right now, it is 4.20 p.m. It looks like 7 outside. It's just, it's dark. Winter, winter time. Winter, winter. winter. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, we are currently on lockdown since December. Technically, since November, because we had a soft lockdown in November that started in November that was supposed to end in December. But after a week into December, <laughs> a week into December, we just whoop, started all over again. Okay. Hard lockdown this time. Are you guys under curfew? Yes, uh, we have a curfew that begins at 10 p.m. till 5 a.m. every single day, Monday okay. to Monday. What measures are in your lockdown? What what happens? What what is not allowed to happen? Right now, they actually talking about making even stricter guidelines, like forcing everybody if you are outside to wear an FFP two mask. Right. I think uh, in there they call them E ninety five. I think that's the mask. This one that looks like a a duck's bill. Oh, that that weird one. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, like the, that. The or, one that, that the miners use. Yes, yes. <laughs> is, is there is there is that what they use there? The miners. What, what do they not? Do? Oh, Kane is German. Yes, is that one. I know him with the silver line that there. One. Yeah. Yes, that one. Uh -huh. They're talking about making that like mandatory when you leave your house. That's the only kind of mask because right now we've been getting by with surgical masks, no problems, you know. So who's supplying these? Must you buy them yourself? Yeah, you have to, you have to buy them. I am sure Germany being Germany that at some point they will be talking about subsidizing the like giving people the money to be able to afford these masks at some point because they, they make measures for their people sham, like, sham. Mm. Uh, throughout the year the year that was throughout the year that was they would give people money here money there to help them out when businesses were closing down and opening up again and closing down okay so but other measures are in place like are you guys getting fined are people okay mass is talking about are you guys um social distancing still any other extra measures that are in place so you can so we can fully understand what's happening over there. There's police always loitering in public areas. Loitering, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but in general, Germans tend to adhere to rules. So right, right. I have not heard of anything where anybody gets arrested for something. People generally, when they leave their homes, they have masks, every store, I think also everywhere else now, every store has a station where you pump uh, sanitizer before you use anything in the store. Right, right, right. Uh, limited amounts of people that are allowed to go into a store. Restaurants? Um, How's, how are they dealing? Restaurants have been closed since November. No. Mm, are you guys, are they allowing for, give me one second, Delivery. one second, one second. Zoom. Okay, resume. <laughs> Resume. Resume. <laughs> cool. So how are English. restaurants handling this? What are they doing? Unfortunately, restaurants have been have been closed. They do still offer delivery, but you know, like it's not the same. 
It's not the no, same. They're not even doing that fifty percent capacity situation. They're oh, just like no, no, no. That's what they were doing in November. In November and uh, like from I want to say from June, they were doing fifty percent capacity. November they closed down for a while, reopened in December, but then with yeah. the stricter regulations, they just completely closed till further oh, notice. Yeah. They were supposed to be until the sixth of January. But uh, because the numbers are ridiculous, they just, everything is just... Are they ridiculous? Do you have an idea about the numbers? I mean, is there been a spike in... Not about two mil. We hit two mil like two days ago. Oh, hey, Jen. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all doing the things, man. Y'all are just out here living your lives. You're like, if I die, I die. That's what it looks like to me. I wonder who these people are because... Everybody I know is trying to keep themselves to themselves. Well, everything at like, numbers. Um, uh, if it's too much, do you know what the recovery rate is? It's actually quite good. Girl, that's good though. <laughs> I don't know the honey does. Like, like, why are you challenging me? Challenging me, dog. That's what I miss. I miss the honey does in the morning. You guys don't have honey does over there. Oh hell no! <laughs> nope. I cool. Uh, the numbers, infection. You said two million. Uh, what's the yeah. recovery? Recovery rate has been incredibly good. Uh, we've had one point seven six million recoveries. That's that's and good. Just, that's good. And just under fifty thousand deaths, which is not that's, good. That's, that's still a, fifty thousand people. That's a that's lot. A lot. That's a lot. Yeah, but are, are these, um, I don't know if it's medical staff or just the governments or the more people, God damn it. Are they, <laughs> are they writing off other debts to COVID? Because I feel like some of that shibiri shibiri. been feeling that way. It's like any, anything that happens to you these days is COVID. COVID. Yeah, just like COVID. Uh, lung comes out yeah. COVID. You're like, oh, I have a growth under my arm, COVID. Hey, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, cool. So another thing I wanted to know is uh, what home remedies are people taking there if they are taking any? Not that, not anything I know. Everybody here is like doing what they usually do in winter. Like Food they have a lot of Vicks. Yeah, I, anything they were doing before in winter. That's what they're doing now. What they're is that? What Vicks are they doing? Around. You must go to your neighbor's house. Vix in some warm water, inhale. Just like inhale. Bread, breadwinners should, they're steaming. <laughs> <laughs> Gurgling salt water when you have a tickle in your throat. That's right, that's right. Like take a warm bath when you come in from outside because yeah, yeah, like yeah. you're freezing. Actually take a cold shower first before you get the warm water on you. Right. It helps with like regulating yeah. your temperature. I hate because it, but it's cold it helps. out. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I, I'm glad that people are doing the things. Your thoughts on the vaccine and what is the the thought or the feel around there? Are people I know the EU, like Oscar said that the EU as a block is gonna take whatever y'all decide on as a whole. What is what's going on? I mean, Angela Merkel ordered some vaccine and I think she was not anticipating how much people want vaccine here. Really, they do? Yeah, I think she's had to reorder like twice because people are just- Where are you guys ordering from it. and which one are you ordering? The it's Pfizer the Pfizer, one? yes, if I'm not mistaken. And that's the one now people are having complaints. Now, now it's I cannot wait stories. to see bougie ass Europeans get the Pfizer vaccine and have these little reactions and then toy toy in the winter. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like things are not looking good with the Pfizer vaccine. No, right now. it's not, yeah. yo. Maybe there was a let me keep quiet before they sue me for defamation. Uh, okay, so what has been the biggest change for you with Corona, uh, negative or positive, that you've noticed and you're like? Like, honestly, it's weird because uh, I'm a new mom and either way, I was going to have to stay at home and not work for right. the year after I had my baby. I decided yeah. I'm staying home for a year. 
Yeah. So it's like Life it's winter. Like it's winter. You don't want to be outside in winter all that much. New baby. I go outside to take a walk to get her some fresh air. I was gonna do that anyway. Yeah. Like nothing is all that different. Except for that, you can go to no restaurant, girl. It wasn't my favorite thing to do <laughs> before that. I went to restaurants really? to have alcohol, like social drinking. That's it. Oh, I remember okay. the last time I was out was with my colleagues and they all were drunk and I couldn't drink because I was breastfeeding at the time. <laughs> So I'm standing there, we're getting free shots because the restaurant is trying to get rid of stock. Girl. Because they knew that there was a shutdown. Oh, just watching them. Me sitting there with my coffee, like, must be nice. So like, hey, like, restaurants, it's cool. When they open again, they'll be trying to get rid of some alcohol stock. I'll be there. Ooh. I'll be there. <laughs> all right babe okay cool thank you that's all i had um thank you for the numbers thank you for your time